So welcome to my second example on the Pythagorean theorem. And notice in this particular example, we have a triangle with one side with a length of 10. We have another side with a length of 8. And we have a third side with a length that we don't know at the moment that we're trying to solve for. So we are going to use the Pythagorean formula to find the length of this missing side. And notice in this triangle we have a right angle, or it's a right triangle. And the Pythagorean formula can only be used when the triangle is a right triangle. So since we do have a right triangle, we can use the Pythagorean formula, a squared plus b squared equals c squared. And the first thing that we need to do is figure out which side is our c, because our c has to be the longest side, or the hypotenuse. So that's what I'm going to do right now. I'm going to find the longest side, or the hypotenuse, of the triangle. And the way this can be done easily is if you go to the 90 degree angle, and you draw an arrow to the opposite side of the 90 degree angle, that side is always going to be your hypotenuse. And since the hypotenuse has to be our side C, this hypotenuse of the triangle, which has a length of 10, is going to be equal to C. And the shorter sides of the triangle can be called A or B. So I'll just call the side with length of 8. This will be my side A. And since we labeled this short side A, the other short side has to be our B. So now that we labeled everything, we can plug all our values into the formula a squared plus b squared equals c squared. Our a is equal to 8, so instead of writing a squared, I'm going to put 8 squared plus b squared. And we don't know our b yet, so I'm just going to leave it as b squared. And this is all equal to c squared. And our c is equal to 10, so instead of c squared, I'm going to write 10 squared. So now if we simplify this a little further, on the left we have 8 squared, which is just 8 times 8, which is 64, plus b squared, which we don't know yet, so I'll just keep it as b squared. And this is all equal to 10 squared, which is just 10 times 10, which is just 100. So now we want to solve for b and get b by itself. So we want to get rid of the 64 on the left side, so I'm going to subtract. 64 from both sides. And on the left hand side, the 64 is cancel, and the only thing we're left with is b squared. And on the right hand side, we have 100 minus 64, which is just 36. And once again, we need to get b by itself, so we need to get rid of this square on top of the b. And to get rid of it, we need to do the opposite. The opposite of squaring is square rooting, so I'm going to square root both sides. And on the left hand side we have the square root of b squared which is just b. And on the right hand side we have the square root of 36 which is just 6. So now we have found the length of our missing side b which is just 6.